You could say it was inevitable. And now the coronavirus has hit the world's third biggest art market, China. And when you factor in the United States and the United Kingdom, more than 80% of the world's total art sales are now affected. Here's why. In February, Art Basel Hong Kong was canceled as well as this year's Art Central due to concerns about the virus. Two major auction houses, Christie's and Bonham's, also called off auctions during New York's Asian Art Week, which was set to be held this month. European and Middle Eastern art markets are also not immune. Art Basel Switzerland is expected to be cancelled, while Art Dubai has been postponed indefinitely. To cope with this financial disaster, art companies are going online. Art Basel Hong Kong announced the launch of a first-of-its-kind online art fair. And a new platform called Art Power Hong Kong is digitizing the works of galleries, museums and auction houses with plans to also put those works online. The question now is, how long will a virtual art world replace the physical one? Art advisor and curator Deniz Çağlar is here with me. Hi Deniz, good to have you back on our show. Thank you so much for coming. So, um, what is happening in the art world? Fairs are getting cancelled, auctions are getting postponed, museums are closing in a lot of countries. So, is there a panic mode at the moment in the art world? Would you say that? Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. I would definitely say that. I mean, we had to have Art Dubai by the end of this, this March and uh, it is cancelled. I mean, they say it is cancelled, but they say it is postponed, but it is actually cancelled because they, they don't, we don't have the new dates yet. And in, in Milan, it's another story in Italy. We had to have Me Art in April, which is also cancelled. The only two that we have now are the Tefaf is going and we had Armory Show last week, but um, I, I don't know. It's the first time ever we had such an incredible, such it's, it's an extraordinary, extraordinary mm -hmm. moment in like in, in history. I think because we have all these political, um, you know, issues, definitely. issues, and as well this Corona thing. So it's it's we are going from. But Dennis, like, let me cut yeah. you off there because for all these art shows and everything, mm -hmm. you know what they mean. But I want to ask you, how serious is this situation? Are there actually real economic repercussions yeah, yeah definitely the, the auctions world. have cancelled in art dubai in dubai and also in in new york so um it is crazy like the the, the attendance rates as well the attendance has dropped 20 percent in armory show in, on the preview day which we would expect much more compared to last last year and and also um this this march this this month is really important the art market because we have all these uh, Claire McAndrews long waited Art Basel UBS report and also um, Artnet's intelligence report, art market reports, and uh, we, I, I was only I was only reading it this 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 morning, and uh, there is 8.3 percent um, drop drop in auction sales worldwide. So this is a crazy scenario. I mean, basically the sales are dropping all around the world yeah. in the art world, but then. The interesting thing then is for me is that why does it have to be in physical world? The first one to cancel was Art Basel Hong mm -hmm. Kong and they gone, they went online and they do this online viewing rooms and the galleries offered sales online. But the thing is people don't have the motivation. It is a really tough situation and as you uh, mentioned throughout the interview, it is an interesting time for the art market. Yeah. So we'll wait and see what happens. Yeah. Art advisor and curator Dennis Chalar, good to have you on our Thank show. You. Thanks so Thanks much. Thanks a lot.